You may already know that Storyline 360 is great for creating branching scenarios that send learners down different paths within a course. But did you know that you can create that same functionality in RISE 360? Let's learn how. To begin with, I want to point out that RISE 360 already has a built-in scenario interaction, which you can customize to create a branching effect within a single content block. But if you want to have more control over how the content is displayed, then you may want to set up your entire course as one large branching scenario. As an example of how to do so, I've created a course that has two scenarios and a course conclusion at the end. Each scenario has a description that contains choices the learner will need to make. From there, the learner will be redirected to three possible consequences based on their decision. Let's take a look at how the actual branching happens within the lessons. Inside of the lessons, I've given the learner a description of the scenario and then some information they would need to know before they make a decision. To actually make the decisions themselves, I've given them three separate buttons to click on. And the way that I did that was to go into the block library, choose interactive, and then if you scroll down towards the bottom, you'll see an option for button stack. Now, these buttons can do many different things, and if we go into the content, we can actually see that for ourselves. These buttons could go to a web page or send an email or even exit the course, but what I have them doing is going to other lessons inside of the course. So you'll see each of these buttons is going to direct the learner to a separate lesson. Now, if we go back out to the consequences themselves, what we'll notice is that consequence one and two continue on with the course. This time we have a single button. And if we take a look at this button, you'll notice that this is going to move on to lesson five, the first lesson in the second scenario. But if we take a look at the third consequence, we really don't want the learner to choose this option. So this is going to give them a try again message, and it actually says to go back and make a different decision. The way that I've done that is very similar to having it jump to the next lesson. We're just jumping them back to the very first lesson in this scenario. One thing to keep in mind is that by default, learners will be able to see all of these lessons as they go through the course. I would recommend going into the theme settings, which is located here at the very top of RISE, and then going into the navigation and turning your navigation off. What this does is prevents them from being able to see the lessons as they're going through the actual course itself. And if you go back out and take a look at your course cover page, it also hides the course structure so that way they can't see the structure before they actually start taking the course. Hopefully this has given you the tools you would need to build your own branching scenarios using RISE 360.